Hi gymnasts, my name is Skittles and I am so excited to be teaching your level two class this week. It's crazy hair day. If you do not have your hair crazy and you would like to, you can pause the video now and go try some fun with the new do. Teaching from my home to yours is different because we would usually be in the gymnastics room, but we can still have fun with gymnastics from home. Before we get started, let's all warm up with my friend Lily Pad. My name is Lily Pad, and I will be leading us through our warm up today. If you're outside like me, make sure that you have an adult's permission and closed toed shoes on. If you're inside, you'll need a little bit of space around you where you can move around. You can move in place like me, or you can move in a small circle if you have enough room. Today, we're going to do a basic level two, three, four warm up, so we're not going to play a game, we'll just get straight into it. We're going to start by running. Make sure that you swing your arms while you run. And breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And let's jog. Now let's do some tippy toe walks or releve walks. We should be up tall on our toes with our arms reached up to the sky. And we want to try and keep our knees locked while we walk so that way they're not bending. They should stay straight the entire time. And we'll do step kicks. Keep your legs straight, your standing leg and your kicking leg. I'm kicking up some stuff out here. And don't forget to breathe. And let's do some hops. Great job. Bend your knees when you land to cushion your ankles. And we'll do some bear crawls. Our legs should be completely straight in our bear crawls. Again, you can do this in, uh, in place like me or you can do it in a small circle. Let's go ahead and skip. Get those knees up high. Swing your arms. transition into high knees. So high knees are just like running if you've never done them before. Except you're going to bring your knees up to stomach level. Ready? These ones really get you moving so don't forget to breathe. And butt kickers. Keep breathing. And walk. Take this time to breathe. Make sure you take a water break before getting started with your lesson. Thanks for the warm up, Lily Pad. Before we start our lesson, let's make sure that our space is clear. yoga mat, gymnastics mat, or a clear space that you can stretch on. You might want to use a couple of blankets or make sure you're on a carpeted area so that you don't hurt your, your back or your knees when we're stretching. We're going to start with some stretching first. Let's do some stretches for our neck. We're going to bring our head all the way down so that our chin touches our chest and hold. And now let's look all the way up as far as we can go. And let your head fall to the side. And to the other side. And let's go in a circle. Go slowly. Try and feel a stretch when you do this. One more time in a circle going this way. And let's go in a circle the other way.
One more time. Now let's go to our pike. With our toes pointed, we'll reach way up high and reach as far as we can down our legs. If you can reach all the way to your feet or past your feet, try and do that. Keep your legs super straight and get your nose to your knee if you can. We'll hold for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's flex our feet. If you can grab your toes, grab them and lift your heels off the ground. If you cannot grab your toes, try and flex your feet so hard that your heels come off the ground. Try and keep your legs straight and we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to our straddle shape. Nice pointed toes, legs straight and knees facing the ceiling. We'll reach and reach to one foot. Remember, try and keep your legs straight here too. If you can get your nose to your knee, go all the way down as far as you can. Four, three, two, one. Reach up and reach to the other side. Remember to keep your straight knees and don't let your toes go in. We'll hold five, four, three, two, one. Reach up one last time and we'll reach as far as we can forwards. You can go to your belly all the way flat on the ground. If you can't get your belly flat, just reach as far as you can like I am. And we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring our feet back together. We'll stretch our shoulders and our ankles at the same time. Walk your hands back as far as you can, trying to keep your pinky fingers close together. And we will flex and point our toes. We'll do that five times. Three, four, five. And let's roll our ankles in circles. We'll do that five times. Four, five, and the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Come out, shake your arms out a little bit. We'll stretch our arms quick. Take whichever arm you want, put it across your body. Take the other arm, grab it at your elbow, and pull close to your body. And we'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Switch to the other arm, bring it across. Use the other arm and pull that arm close to your body and hold. And we'll hold five, four, three, two, one one shake them out again we'll take one arm lift it way up high bend it take the other arm grab it at the elbow and pull and we'll hold this one for a little bit just like last week you should feel a stretch right here on your arm we'll hold five four three two one the other arm way up high bend it grab the elbow and pull and hold. Good job, everybody. Keep stretching. We'll hold five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get ready for our lunge. Sit up tall on both knees. Put whichever foot you want to out in front. Make sure it's straight. Without moving your foot, we'll bend our knee and put our both hands on top and push. When we do this stretch, we wanna make sure that our put, we are pushing our hips forwards as far as we can. You want your front foot to be turned out, not turned in, and we talked about that last week if you watched. And you wanna make sure that your back leg is straight behind you. And let's hold for about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your front leg. Reach up, try and balance, and reach for your foot, and hold. Try and keep your legs super straight here, and this is another opportunity to check your back leg. Oops, mine went a little bit crooked, so I could fix it. 
Reach as far forward as you can, and we'll hold five, four, three, two, one. Slide into your split as low as you can go. Try and keep your front foot pointed, your back foot pointed as well. Your back knee tucked under, not sticking out, and your front knee facing the ceiling. And we'll hold for about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna make our split trickier today and we're gonna try and hold our hands up in the air for five seconds. Ready? And arms up, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's switch to the other leg. Put your one foot out in front, straight knee, and without moving your foot, bend your leg. Again, let's make sure that our front foot is turned out. We are pushing our hips forwards as far as we can and check your back leg. Make sure it's straight behind you. We'll hold 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your front leg. Reach up, try balance. And reach as far as you can for your foot or past your foot. Keeping this leg straight. Check your back leg and we'll hold for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's slide down into our split as low as we can go. Remember, front foot pointed, knee facing the ceiling, back knee facing the ground, and back foot pointed as well. Let's hold for 10 seconds, then we'll put our arms up for five. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's put our arms up for five. Ready? And five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake your legs out a little bit. They worked hard on that one. Let's go to our frog stretch where your both knees go apart. Mostly go on our elbow and we will hold. Remember to try and keep a straight line from your knee to your hips to your other knee. We'll hold for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into our middle split. Jump your feet apart. Go as low as you can go. Make sure you're in a straight line from your foot to your hips to your other foot. If you can go low enough, you can pancake on the ground with your belly flat and your arms out. If you are low, but not that low, put your elbows down. Or if you have a pretty high split like I do, you can keep your hands on the ground. Let's hold for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and come down. Let's stretch our wrists and then we'll get ready for a bridge. Hands out in front. Put them down and we'll rock back and forth. And we'll bring it around town, going in a circle. And go in a circle the other way. Hands this way. Put them down and rock. Go in a little circle. And a circle the other way. Hands like this. Put them down, rock, and go in a circle, and circle the other way. All right, let's do our bridge. Lay on your back, knees bent, elbows to the ceiling, and we'll push up and we'll hold for 10. Push up, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down and rock and roll. We'll do one more bridge. This time when you do a bridge, I want you to lift your favorite leg in the air and we'll hold that one for 10 seconds. Get ready, lay down, elbows up and push up and hold and lift one leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come down and we'll rock and roll again. All 
All right, that's all I have for stretching. Next, we're gonna do some floor skills. For today's floor lesson, make sure you have a wide open space to do cartwheels in. Talk with an adult and figure out where the best place for you to do cartwheels would be. You might have to move some furniture around. We will also be using a stuffed animal for today's lesson. So you can pick whichever one is your favorite or a different kind of toy. And we'll use that when we do our cartwheels. I'm gonna put my dinosaur there. Last week we talked about proper lunges for our handstands. We'll review that a little bit today and then we'll move on because we're gonna work on the cartwheels. When you do your lunge, if you remember, you have your favorite foot in front and your less favorite foot behind. Your back leg stays straight, your front leg is bent, and your arms go tight by your ears. Let's try that two times, standing with our feet together, and let's go right into our lunge with our arms by our ears. Make sure you have both feet turned slightly out, never turned in. Stay up with your feet together, and we'll go right into our lunge shape again. Good job. All right, we also talked about levers last time when we did our handstands. When you're in your lunge, your lever is when you do a teeter-totter motion, and you reach down to the ground, and as you reach down, your, your leg goes up in the air as your hands go down. And let's try two teeter-totters together in our nice lunge shape. And let's teeter and go back into our strong lunge, pressing our heels down into the ground. One more lever. And press your heel down to the ground so you know you're in a strong lunge. Great job. When you do a cartwheel, instead of putting your hands down like you would in your handstand, as you lever down, you turn your hands so that they face sideways. And you turn your body too so it faces sideways instead of continuing to face the same way like when you do a handstand. When you do this, if you have your left foot as your favorite foot like I do, your hands will turn to the left side of your body. If you have your right foot in front as your favorite foot, your hands will turn to the right side of your body. Let's try a couple of little mini cartwheels and each time we go, we're gonna try and get more and more on top of our hands when we go. When you do a cartwheel, you should be able to go in a very straight line, but when you first start learning a cartwheel, it's pretty difficult to do. Let's start with a mini cartwheel and we'll do one that's pretty small and doesn't go all the way up. Ready? Start in your lunge and we'll do a little mini cartwheel and finish. Good job. When you finish your cartwheel, you're going to finish in a lunge with your other favorite leg in front. Not the one that you start with, but your less favorite leg in front. And you are also going to face the opposite direction from where we started. That's where our stuffed animal is going to come in. When I start my cartwheel, I'm going to face away from my dinosaur. When I finish my cartwheel, I should be facing my dinosaur. All right, go ahead and place your stuffed animal so that it is right behind you when you start your cartwheel. Let's do another little baby cartwheel, but let's try and kick up a little bit higher. Start in your lunge, and let's do a baby cartwheel. Good job. Are you facing your dinosaur? You don't wanna be facing forwards this way or continuing to face the way that you started when you started your cartwheel. Let's do Another baby cartwheel, but let's try and get our legs up even higher. Ready? Start in your lunge and cartwheel. Good job. Now we're going to try and do some cartwheels, kicking all the way over the top when we go. If you want, you can use a line. If you have some, a line in your house that you can just use you can do that. If you have some painter's tape and an adult says it's okay, you can put some tape on the floor so that you know you're going in a straight line. Or if you're outside, you can always use some chalk. Let's try some cartwheels, making sure we're kicking over the top. We're finishing in a strong lunge 
and we're looking at our dinosaur when we finish. Let's start with the first one. Arms up by your ears in your lunge and cartwheel all the way over the top and finish in lunge facing your stuffed animal friend. Good job. Now we're going to talk about one more thing before we start doing a bunch of cartwheels together and that's where our eyes should look. When you do a cartwheel, you want to look in your armpit so that you can see your first foot land. After you watch your first foot land, I want you to look for your stuffed animal friend. That would look something like this. I'm here in my lunge. I'm in a cartwheel. I'm looking in my armpit. I saw my first foot land and now I'm going to look at my stuffed animal. Let's try some together. Ready? Start in your lunge and cartwheel. Hands turn sideways. Look at your first foot and your friend. Good job. Let's do some more. Start in your lunge and cartwheel. First foot and then your friend. Let's do some more. When you do this, it's really important that you know where you're looking because it helps you go in a straight line and it'll also make it really easy for you to get back into the gym and try cartwheels on the beam. If you can already do it on a straight line on the floor, you can definitely do it on the beam. Ready? Start in your lunge and cartwheel and finish. Remember to press your heels down when you finish in your lunge. Let's do three more. Ready? Strong lunge to start and cartwheel and strong lunge to finish. Two more. Lunge and cartwheel. Awesome job. Last one. Lunge and cartwheel and eyes on your friends. Great job. Now let's sew and do some conditioning. Now let's finish with some conditioning. For conditioning, you just need an open space where you have enough room to lay down. You might want to use something similar to what you used when we did stretching so that it's a little bit softer as we'll be doing stuff laying on our backs today. Let's start with a drill that I've done a couple of times. It, it helps with squat ons, but it's also some good conditioning. You'll start in your push up shape and then you're going to jump both feet in so that they go, oops, right in between your hands. I jumped mine in a little bit too far. You can jump yours in so that you look like this. You don't wanna overshoot it. Let's do 10 of those together. Get ready in your push up shape. Ready? And one. And jump your feet back out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Good job, shake your arms out a little bit. Next, we're going to do alternating 10 sit-ups and then 10 push-ups. Let's start with some sit-ups with your knees bent and your arms here or here. We'll lay back down, lay all the way down and come sit all the way back up. If you want to put your feet underneath something, like underneath your couch, or if you have a sibling or a family member that you want to sit on top of your feet, you can do that as well. Let's start with our 10 sit-ups. Hands here. And ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Good job, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten last one 
Good job. Let's get ready for our 10 push-ups now. We'll go back to our push-up shape. Make sure you have your shoulders over your wrists and you're in a hollow body shape. No sagging tummies. Hollow body like a scared kitty like this. And we'll do our 10 push-ups. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, keep your head neutral, six, seven, eight, nine, don't forget to breathe, and 10. Great job, shake your arms out again, and let's get ready for our 10 sit-ups. Lay on your back, legs bent, hands wherever you would like them to be, if they're on your head or if they're crossed. Let's take a deep breath before we start. Deep breath in. And let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep breathing, you're doing awesome, and 10. Great job. Now, let's take a deep breath again, and we'll do our 10 push-ups. Get ready in your push-up shape. Remember to have a round back, and let's do 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good job. Shake your arms out. I'm gonna stretch my wrists a little bit because that was a lot for my wrists. And let's finish our conditioning with some frog jumps. If you're unfamiliar with frog jumps, you start with a squat, your feet and your knees are together, your arms touch the ground, and then you're going to jump up and put your arms to the ceiling, and then go right back down into your squat shape. I'm gonna move over because I have a ceiling fan above me. I don't want to hit it. So your squat jump will look like this. And then you go back down. Let's do 10 together. Ready? And one, two, three. Good job. Point your toes when you jump. Four, five, six. Keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Awesome job. Shake your legs out a little bit. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water when you're doing these videos. That's all I have for today's. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> out of breath a little bit. We gotta <laughs> cut that part out. Give me a second here. <laughs> That's all I have for today's video. Be sure to tune in next week for under the sea day. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for joining us for Gymnastics at Your Home with Kid Spirit. Gymnastics is such an important skill. Your child is learning balance, coordination, agility. They're building their confidence as they work through things that they thought they couldn't do. Might have been something that they were afraid of, so it's so important. Be sure to subscribe. Watch our future episode. We'll have an episode out every week. Below, you'll see our webpage, you'll see our email. Be sure to let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. If you like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs down won't offend us. We want your feedback. Be sure to give us your comments below. Share, subscribe. Thank you for joining Gymnastics for Your Home from Kid Spirit.